ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's really a great, a great pleasure to be here. And all that speak about humidity uh, is caused by the fact that uh, I started this morning uh, doing a run along uh, the river. Uh, it's one of my traditions. Um, it's important, I think, uh, to keep a good uh, physical shape. Uh, but at the same time, it's an excellent way to discover uh, uh, new cities from a different uh, angle instead of just going from airports to conference centers and meeting rooms. Um, so it was a very uh, nice experience uh, and uh, a good start uh, of, of the day. Um, I was um, at Dobbins uh, Air Force Base yesterday uh, to meet with members of the Georgian uh, National Guard. Uh, but I understand that the Texas National Guard uh, is actually the largest uh, in the nation. Uh, <laughs> uh, indeed, um, it is, as we have already heard, uh, often referred to uh, as uh, Texas military forces. So obviously, I was uh, keen uh, to come uh, to see you. Uh, it is a real privilege to be here um, and um, uh, to thank you for the tremendous contribution you are making to the security of your state, your country, and the entire NATO alliance. Um, I understand that uh, the Texas National Guard was recently mobilized uh, to respond uh, to uh, the wildfires here uh, in the state. Uh, but over the years, uh, you have helped to tackle many more fires uh, all over the world, um, and uh, that strong engagement continues today. Uh, you have uh, backstopped NATO's first big peacekeeping operation in Bosnia uh, in the 1990s. Um, you were also active uh, in Kosovo. You have been part of the building of a Europe whole, free, and at peace, an enormous achievement. More recently, uh, you have helped to build security in Iraq. And of course, you have played a major role in Afghanistan in the most challenging operation in NATO's history. In Afghanistan, greater security must go hand in hand with greater development. The Texas National Guard has demonstrated a unique ability to help with both. Uh, by supporting um, the agribusiness development team in Afghanistan's Ghazni province, um, you have quite literally broken new ground. Um, the versatility, professionalism, and dedication of the National Guard are well known all over the world. And it is all the more remarkable to see that you are all volunteers, uh, several of you have done one or more tours abroad, uh, while your regular jobs and your regular lives were put on hold. It takes a very special person to show that kind of commitment. I know these past few years have been particularly busy for you and uh, your colleagues on the National Guard. The operational tempo has been high. Tragically, it has also taken its toll on you and your families. Several members of the National Guard have been injured uh, during their deployment overseas, and some have made the ultimate sacrifice and paid with their lives. We are we all are forever in their debt. 
the world is an increasingly unpredictable place with many threats to our security and well-being. Terrorism, cyber attacks, and nuclear proliferation. So NATO is busier now than at any time uh, in its history. These threats know no borders. They affect us all. The only way to meet and to defeat these threats is by working together within our alliance and reaching out to others around the world. No one nation, no one organization can do it alone. Even a superpower like America can't do it alone. And we certainly can't do it without America. Solidarity between the NATO allies has been and will remain vital to our continued success. Europe came to America's aid within hours of the 9-11 attacks. We invoked the collective defense clause in our founding treaty for the first time in NATO's history. We made clear that an attack on the United States was an attack on all allies. And that commitment is not just words. It is a reality every day. In Afghanistan, for example, 40,000 allied and partner troops are working shoulder to shoulder with American forces, fighting the Taliban, patrolling villages, bringing security and stability to a country that has been ravaged uh, by over 30 years of conflict. We all know that a secure and stable Afghanistan means a safer world for all of us. We have the right strategy, we have the right resources, and we have the resolve to see this through. And we will continue our mission to ensure that Afghanistan does not return to being a sanctuary for terrorists and extremists. The successful operation against Osama bin Laden last week marked a significant success for the security of all 28 NATO allies and the many nations uh, which have joined us in our efforts to combat global terrorism. But there should be no doubt that it continues to pose a direct threat to stability across the world. International cooperation will remain key to combat terrorism, and NATO will remain at the heart of that cooperation. So, thank you all once again for your professionalism and your dedication to the cause of freedom. Thank you also to your families and loved ones for their invaluable support. And keep up the outstanding work that you're doing. Thank you very much.